Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Ranger X. I'm your host Alexander Frost and this is episode 2. We are currently on the third stage of the game on Heavy, the hardest difficulty there is. Now, this is my favorite stage in the game. We'll give the birds a moment to take off there because it just looks so pretty. Now, if you play this on normal, you'd notice that the background sky is actually blue in color. The reason behind this is dif different difficulty levels will give you different colors. In this case, since we're on heavy, it looks more like it's twilight instead of the middle of the day. Now, the real important, the big feature of this particular level, two big features, is one, well, there weren't one of them, one, when we're under the canopy like this, we can't recharge our weapons because there's very little light. We have to actually go above the cloud, above the cloud cover, above the canopy to recharge. The second thing is, god dang. There are no power conversion units in this stage, so this means if we need to refill our health, and we will because the enemy hit harder, we need to shoot down these little red apples and then catch it before it falls. I didn't think my laser would uh, knock them down. Boom. Boom. Thank you. Ow, ow. I think I just turned to continue. I can't really hear the sound effects very well, the reason being... Uh, because of the setup I have with the sound coming through the speakers, if I turn off the speakers too loudly, it'll pick up in the microphone and then you'll get an echo, and if I don't sync that up just right, you'll hear it echo loudly, and it just, it, yeah, it's easier just to turn down the volume and not be able to hear it. I've already heard these sound effects before, so it's nothing new to me. So, I'm supposed to destroy these, they look like miniature troop production facilities of some sort. Well, the thing is, since the enemies in this stage pretty much keep coming at you, uh, these little jet things that I'm shooting down, they are worth no points. So I can destroy as many as I want and get nothing for them. These, on the other hand, are worth plenty of points. Okay, I have got to get some apples. Seriously, I'm about to die here. Ooh, there's one. Get it? Got it. I think. Wow, these guys are trying their hardest to kill me here. I mean, when I tried this on my first recording, I did not get my ass handed to me this much. I mean, they weren't this eager to kill me. Okay, get the apple. Get the apple. There you go. Get the apple. Get it. Get it. Get it. Ah. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Get up there before you run out of energy. Before you overheat. Not run out of energy. Stay up here. Recharge. It's all good. Oh, you pestered. Yes, you can't take your fingers off to the controls because the enemies will hit you, and if you're not well, if you're not lucky, you'll get knocked off like I did. Okay, moving on. So yes, I like this stage because you can just walk through it and just, just blast through it. You just feel like a total and complete boss for owning everybody. Not that I'm not taking damage. Oh wow, they are trying hard to kill me. I'm not even sure if I got health back from that for the amount of damage I took. Uh, all right. That takes care of that. And, oh, oh, no! I caught it! Did I catch it? I think I did! I will have to go back to the replay and check that. Ow, ow, ow. Stop shooting me. I don't like it. I don't agree with bullets. Alright, go get him, Falcon. Charge. And thankfully, since light is so abundant and powerful here, you can recharge pretty quickly. Yeah, don't get too excited about that gun platform that I'm uh, toting around with me. This is probably the only stage in the game where he, uh, you know, actually shows his usefulness. Yeah, and the thing about those apples is you have to catch them mid-air if you you can't pick them up off the ground. I, I, I don't know why. Doesn't make sense to me, but hey. Yeah, I got nothing just but hey. <laughs> Uh, this is an this is incredible commentary. You should have heard the first round I tried to do. It just sounded god awful. Oh, all right, recharge just a little bit more, a little more, good enough. Let's just walk in like a boss and shoot everything, and not stop until we make it to the end. And there's the end. All enemies destroyed. I'm going to switch back to the flamethrower for this fight. Ah. I get a good look at that image of the mountain down there, because the moment you hit the water, you will never see a still image of it ever again. 
Alright, the game made a liar out of it. Cool beans. Come on, boss. There you are. Now, since we're playing on the hardest difficulty level, this guy will be able to zero in on you a hell of a lot faster than he could before. Before, I could get off maybe two or three rounds of shooting at him. Oh, geez, my fingers were off the controls. This is why pause buttons were invented. I could buy, I could hit him maybe, oh jeez, two or three times before he could zero in on me. Now I pretty much have to move after each and every round. Because he's just that accurate. Mm, there we go. Now, I am tempted... Well, no, actually the flamethrower is probably my best bet here. I could try, the seeker laser doesn't lock on for the second half of this boss fight. What am I doing? Oh, I forgot. He could fire beams from his eyes. The Seeker Falcon doesn't lock on for the second part of this fight. The Seeker Laser doesn't lock on for the second part of the fight. And the Seeker Mines are, well, they're a ground-based weapon, so they're pretty much useless. The, my best weapon here is going to be the Flamethrower, even though it is a craptastic weapon for this fight. Simply for the fact that, as I run out of power... Ah, as I run out of power... The range decreases, so once I get to, uh, down to about half power, oh Jesus, once I get down to about half power, it loses effectiveness. Oh, this is, yeah, and he almost killed me before. Oh, oh, there it is. Orbs. This is actually going fairly well. I mean, before I was down to one hit. It was all skill. It's all skill. Oh, 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 oh god. It was all skill, son! And then I get my ass handed to me. Come on, come on. A little more, a little more, a little more. And... Oh, I cannot believe I got through that with only one hit. Ow, ow, that hurts. Did your mother teach you to do that? Oh, that worked! That worked! That worked! Down. Come down. Come down. Alright, fine. Stay up there. Ow! You're a meanie! Ah ha ha ha! Gotcha, gotcha! Ha ha ha! Ah, I'm switching over to Seeker Falcon. This next part. Seeker Falcon is the best weapon to use for Stage 4. The High Rise Climb! Oh boy. Now there are more of these um, to destroy. They're also spaced differently. And if I'm not mistaken, the weapon that you can get in this stage is in a different location, and I think even some of the ledges that you can climb on are in different positions. Hell, if I remember correctly... Oh, that's a mine. It, come on, you spider walker. If I remember correctly... As soon as my brain decides to function. Alright. If I remember correctly. What was it? Oh yes, there are anti-gravity platforms spaced out for you to land on and re uh, let your temperature gauge uh, let your jetpack cool off. The problem is, there aren't any in this stage. <laughs> Not even one. So there's one particularly long climb we have to do that is just balls to the wall hard. You have to do it just right. And this guy only does is launches those little energy balls, which... <laughs> yeah. Which heats up your jetpack. Now, here's a weird thing. If you're facing this way and you turn away, if you turn away, they can't see you, they can't shoot at you. If you're in this way, though, they can. not So basically, this means, if I can't see you, you can't hurt me. This is exactly what it's saying. Oop! Continue! Flamethrower would be better for stopping those, but then I wouldn't have the Seeker ability, which is what I need for this stage. More than anything else! Naturally, I take damage for the first time. There are mini power conversion units. This is the first stage in which the mini power conversion units are introduced. Like the normal power conversion units, they will swap special weapon power for health. The difference here being that, one, it's instantaneous, meaning you get an instant swap of power. The other thing is, you only can use it one time, and then it's gone forever. Get him! 
Get him. Get him. But, well, come on, kill him. It's not a difficult task. Now, this might be the long one. I think this is... Yeah, this is the long climb. So I'm going to kill these guys, just because I don't want to deal with them while I'm trying to get up there. Well, I could fall faster than he can fly down. Come back, Birdie, come back! Alright, now the trick here is if you try and fly straight up, you will not be able to make it. If you duck, then press up, you'll actually sort of skip an animation and... Well, here, let me show you so that you can properly understand. When Ranger X takes off, he takes off kind of slow like, you see, but if you actually press down and then up, it's more like he jumps. He just starts straight up. He just takes off straight up. He skips the animation in which he's uh, slowly ascending. He just starts off at maximum speed, and it's just enough to get you up here. I think I got them all. Okay, now, the weapon for this stage should have been located long down, way down there under the third or fourth enemy. Now it's located here. No, no, I'm not going back down there. <sighs> now there are only six left. Let's go kill them so we can be done with this nonsense. Ah. Keep going, to just, just power through, just power through. Alright, we got them all. I'm going back down. Now, allow me to introduce you to the easiest boss fight in the game. I am not even kidding. Ouch. I don't even know why I tried to turn around like that. That was just silly. There. The boss itself is a battery core. Shoot the battery. Don't shoot the pink ball. See, the last time I said don't shoot the pink ball, I shot the pink ball. So the trick is timing it so that your shot hits at just the right moment. And fire. There we go. Nice. Oh, I hit that. No, I actually, I hit it. I hit the battery. Oh, I gotta be over here. So as you can see, this is a pretty easy boss fight. And if you shoot the little pink ball, it'll act like rubber, like a rubber Super Bowl and bounce back at you and hit you for a pretty fair amount of damage. Let me show you what happens when you shoot it. He's like, no, bitch. So, I'm gonna be like, yes, bitch. Completely unnecessary, but worth the effort. And this is probably my least favorite mission in the game. Do not like it. At all. So supposedly a stealth type mission. The objective being to take out these gunship platform thingies which are just dangerous as hell. Hey! Now this is where I originally thought you could pick up your very last weapon in the game, but I was wrong. There is actually another weapon in the next level. Now, believe it or not, I'm actually going to try and be halfway stealthy about this. And try to avoid these searchlights, because if you hit them... See this little garage door looking thing here? I tried to duck. If you do hit the... the if you hit the spotlights, an alarm will go off, and little gunship thingies, small versions of them, will come flying out of there, and the annoying thing about them is, they will stay behind you. So if you turn left like this, they'll go to the right and shoot you in the back. You turn right, they'll go to the left, back and forth, back and forth, until you eventually, you have to use a seeker weapon to kill them. How do I get up here? Oh, this way. So, oh, 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 oh. I'm going to try to avoid the spotlights. Zufer, and stay out of the spotlights. Unfortunately, using the pro pl pl proton? proton storm is... it uses up a lot of power. In fact, it uses up all of your power. And since this is a night, ba night 
base mission, you're not going to be getting a lot of power back quickly. Yes, I am melee kicking these guys, because it, it brings me pleasure. And it's also probably the only way I can use to fight them. Wow, they are just, just railing on me hard here. I have to wait for my power to come back. An easy way for my power to restore would be to... Hi there. Ouch. Would be to actually hop into a spotlight. But I'm not going to do that, because that's just stupid. Is there... Can I... Okay, I... No, this is not Blades of Vengeance. You cannot shift the camera that way. There are three mic uh, mini power conversion units scattered throughout the city. <sighs> yeah, this is not looking good. One shot will be me in there. He's just right above me. I want to try and save as many continues as I can, that's the thing. So even if he does kill me, I want to avoid running into those searchlights, you know? I see you there. <sighs> Just hovering back and forth, you little bastard. I just gotta wait. I just gotta wait. I see you shooting at me. <sighs> Alright. Come on, charge faster. I know it's nighttime, but fuck. You charge off of solar power and artificial light. Any kind of light will do. Watch me accidentally fire. Okay, here we go. That wasn't enough! It missed! It missed, but wait, wait, wait. This might work to my advantage. No, 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 no. It might work to my advantage because I have my gunship. My gunship can shoot at them. There you go. Oh, oh god. Fucking gunship. And oh look. Mini power recharge unit. Right there. The good thing is you can walk over them. As long as you have full health, you can walk over them and not set them off by accident. Now I have to wait for the gauge to refill again. Well, technically it could use the bird instead. But... Oh, 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 ouch. You're not gonna go up, are you? You're just gonna hover back and forth, aren't you? Okay. Come on back, son. Anytime. Right, now, this means whenever he does decide to come hovering back, I can either use the Proton Storm, depending on when he decides to come back, or I can just let the cannon lock onto him. Okay, here he comes. Get him! Get him! Get fire! What are you waiting on? Oh my god. Alright, back to waiting. Go and get you some! I missed both of them. I am so ashamed of myself right now. Uh, all right. Get him, bird. Birdie. Attack, bird. Oh, there you are. I see you hiding down there. My bird is out of power. Oh, my God. Get him. Yep, yep, yep. That's it. Oh, that was good. No run. Come back. I just want to murder you horribly. Come back, friend. Oh, out of power. Back up. Why are you running away? Don't run away. All right, now, where's the next one? No, he's not it. Oh, there he is. He's right in front of me. Did I get him? Yeah, nope. Now I did. <laughs> yeah, let's be a little more proactive this time. A little more aw, uh, uh, aggressive, that's the word. Before... Shit, 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 shit. Okay. 
Well, I did not want to have to use this particular method, but it seems I don't have a choice. Get him. Thankfully, as long as my Seeker Falcon has power and keeps going after them, I can keep them from shooting me in the ass. Now, the really bad thing is these you can't sit here and farm for points and ultimately extra lives through continues. So, yeah. Stealth, it, yeah, it, it's, it's not worth it. Get him. Get him. Get him, son. And we repeat. Okay, get him. That's it. Alright, we can move on. I should have done this from the start. This is what I should have done. Oh, I look at... No, he's not dead. Now he's dead. Man, these guys hit. These guys hit hard. Well, they wouldn't be called gunships if they hit what... If they didn't hit hard, now would they? Come on, get him, get him, get him, get the gunship. The gunship. Kill the gunship. <sighs> this is going beautifully. Oh, look, there he is again. Oh, no, now he's dead. Alright, there should be... Yep, there's another one. And there's the last one over there. Well, this is just going fantabulous. Right, come on, we can do this. There's only four more. Fuck you. Oh, come on. Oh, he was from another area. I forgot he was down here. He doesn't appear there on hard or heavy, or he doesn't appear there on the normal difficulty levels. Fuck you! Come on, Seeker Falcon, kill him! Kill him! Ah, good, we killed him. Ah, there's nothing down here. And wait, where's the last power recharge unit? Oh, oh, I know where it is. Another recharge phase. Ah, shit. Well, I don't need it now. Don't I feel just smart, intelligent, and witty? See, this is why I don't like this mission. Even on the normal difficulty levels, this was a fairly tough mission. I mean, if you were trying to, you know, be stealthy and not get your, your shit wrecked. Oh god, why, what are you doing? Kill him! Thank you. And then I assume you were supposed to go down here into some underground tunnel. Alright. I'm going to call it a video here. Normally I would go after the boss, but I am running out of time. So, thank you for watching, folks, and I will see you on the next video.